Hi, this is Scott Purcell, the Texas Twister, with another quick video log on how to make balloon figures. Today it's going to be a little bit longer than the previous two because I'm going to show you a little more elaborate design. We're going to do a teddy bear holding a heart. So to make the heart, we fully inflate the balloon, tie the end after I let a little bit of air out. And then we're going to stretch it just to relieve a little bit of pressure there to make it less likely to pop. Down at the bottom, I'm going to twist off about a two or three inch segment on each side. And then I'm going to take the knot and I'm going to bring it to where the twist meets and twist those. Now what that does for us is it creates a little base for the heart so that the total assembly when we're done will stand up on a tabletop. Then I fold the balloon and find the midpoint. Bring it down while I hold, hold it into roughly a heart shape. Then I'm going to squeeze all the air out of the bottom and then release so that the air can once again fill it. And that is going to give us a, a shape that it's going to keep. Then I'm going to gently crinkle the tops of the heart. And when I release, it will retain its heart shape. Now, next we're going to make the teddy bear. And the teddy bear, we usually leave a fair amount uninflated at the end. And I'm going to tie the knot, but I'm going to leave it soft. I'm not going to pull it down tight. I'm going to twist off about an inch and a half for the teddy bear's nose. About an inch to an inch and a half for the side of the head. A slightly smaller balloon, about three quarters of an inch or an inch for the ear. Then the forehead, about an inch to an inch and a half. Another ear size bubble, and then another to match the side of the head. So now I've got the nose, and then the two sides of the head, the two ears, and the forehead. These five bubbles I'm just going to twist together. And I'm going to stick a finger under one of the ears, pull it out, and twist it around to shape the ear. And do the same on the other side. Then I'm going to take the knot, and I'm going to try to work it a little bit so that I can very gently use my thumb to push the knot through the rest of the head. And then on the other side, I'm going to gently manipulate the knot so that it rolls between my fingers and lets the nose grow a little bit. Then I turn the ears sideways, as a teddy bear's ears would be, and there's our teddy bear's face. Then, I'll twist in a bubble for the neck, stretch him again, wrap the balloon, this would be the arms around the heart, just going to twist back at the neck. Now, if I finish him off like this, his head is always kind of leaning back. So to straighten him up a little bit, I give him a little vertebra at his neck. And we twist like that, and that way his head will be upright. Now, we've got just the tiniest little bit here at the end. So, but it's still a fairly soft balloon. So I'm going to squeeze, stretch it out. I'm going to make one big loop ending at where I want the body to be. And then I'm going to twist, leaving just a little bit for a little puppy tail. And then I'm going to find the middle of that loop bring it back to the, to the twist, wrap the tail around it, and that separates into two feet. So now we have a teddy bear holding a heart. Until next time, thank you.